Hello friends, this video on metals and non-metals part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about the reaction with bases. How do metals react with bases? Now how do you uh, identify bases? Now we have been talking about acid bases, acid bases, we have talked about litmus test. Now how do you know which is a base? You know, litmus test is always there, but some basic or some very uh, literal characteristics of a base. They are generally beet bitter in taste. They have a soapy touch. Examples of bases. Can you think of some examples of bases? Let me give you some examples like sodium hydroxide. It is a base. Calcium hydroxide is again a base. Soda. Sodium carbonate. That is also a base. So these are all examples of bases. So now we will see how metals react with bases. Now metals react with bases to produce hydrogen gas. So here also you see with acids also metals have a tendency to produce hydrogen gas. But if the acid is a very strong oxidizing agent, then instead of hydrogen gas, they produce water. So in this case, how do they react with bases? So let us try to see that. So metals react with base to form a salt plus hydrogen gas. Let us take some examples. Let us take the example of zinc. Now zinc combines with a base for example NaOH, sodium hydroxide. So what does it form? It forms Na2ZnO3 which is sodium zincate. So this is nothing but a salt plus hydrogen gas is released. This is important. Because with the emission of hydrogen gas, you get to know that okay, a metal has reacted with the base. Similarly, if you take example of some other metal, for example, uh, you think of aluminium. So when aluminium reacts with sodium hydroxide in presence of water, what does it form? It forms sodium aluminate plus hydrogen gas. So you can just balance the reaction. So what is this? What is the salt? This is nothing but sodium aluminate. So here also if you see hydrogen gas is released. So all metals will react with bases and they will release hydrogen gas. Now what about non-metals? Do you think that in this case also non-metals do not react with bases or they react in different ways? Yes, the second option is correct. So non-metals react with bases but a little differently. Now it is not the non-metal which directly react with bases but the oxides of non-metals react with bases to form salts and water. So let us see what does that mean? So let us see how these oxides of non-metals react with bases. Now what happens is the non-metal oxide, something like uh, carbon dioxide or sulfur dioxide. So this oxide reacts with a base to form salt and along with that it releases water. So let us take some example. Let us take uh, the non-metal oxide, the common one, say carbon dioxide. Now when carbon dioxide combines with sodium hydroxide, which is a base, it forms Na2CO3, which is a salt that is sodium carbonate plus water. Again, if you take example of some other base, for example, calcium hydroxide, in that case, what does it form? It forms calcium carbonate, which is a salt plus water. So this is how uh, non-metal oxides react with bases. So basically metals react with bases to release hydrogen and non-metal oxides react with bases to release water. So that is the difference between metals and non-metals in terms of their reaction with bases. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.